Can we get along, you know? What if I could take the best of building mobile applications that are native to each device, but leverage all the good things about web technologies? What if I could do that? Can we ever be friends? And the answer is yes. We can. And these are called applications. There are many of those around, and a lot of us don't really realize that we're using a hybrid application because it looks native. And the way they work is they wrap all the content in a native container that will run on your device native code, so it'll run native iPhone or iPad code, native Android code, native uh, Blackberry code. But that's only the container. Inside, we have a website or a set of, con uh, of files or, or content built using web technologies. And that is why they're called hybrid apps. And they can be cross-platform because HTML is a language that all devices and we're, we're using that for our code base, but we're sort of having an interpreter talk to each one of the platforms, so this is the container that tells the system, uh, do this for me, do uh, change this for me. Now, again, that comes at a price and is performance. There is a performance hit when you do that. When you are running something, just like we were talking about speaking different languages, if I was to go to China tomorrow, I don't speak Chinese, unfortunately, I could get along with a translator. You know, or someone who's with me, and let's say that I go to a business meeting and I tell this person, can you tell this guy that I gave him 50 bucks for that uh, phone? The guy says he'll give you 50. No, tell him I'll do for, uh, 60. Can I get along with that? Yes. But what would have taken me 20 minutes to make a deal with this guy will probably end up taking an hour because of the back and forth. And that's what happens with hybrid applications. It ends up taking longer, there is a performance hit, and I don't have access to all of the device's capabilities because I'm limited by what the container will allow me to do as an external entity, as an external uh, code base to our system. All this happens by combining HTML, which is what is used to build mobile websites with native containers, as you see at the bottom, Apple, Android, Blackberry, and Windows Phone. And we run. For that, we have great tools available, such as HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and then different frameworks that allow us to make you know, that communication is simpler, easier, uh, more universal, create looks and feels for our apps that are more uh, standard across different platforms or that even target the different platforms. We're all very used to seeing our, our own device. So when we have an idea for an app, we think of our own device and how it'll, it'll look in that device. But when you go through, as Ilona was saying, your testing, you will realize that not everyone is going to access your app the same way. And not every device is going to be the same. If we compare uh, iPhones and, and Android devices, for the buttons work a different way. So when I'm on an iPhone, for those of, the, of you here who are iPhone users, you see your center button is what does everything. On Android, you don't have that center button. Your menu is a different button. And for you to go back to something, you have to push another button. So these tools that we have here allow us to create applications that work cross-platform that look the same on every device or that look native to the device. So if, if, it's on, it's, if, if my app is running on Android, it'll look like an Android app with a menu at the top, what I'm used to. If it's running on iPhone, it'll look like an iPhone app with the buttons and the layout, the way most of my apps work. 
and that'll be a uh, that. So what these frameworks do is add another layer of functionality on top of HTML so that you can take that and make it look more like what a native application would, would look. Make it behave more like a native application will behave, such as rotating views, you know, like when you flip something on your device. There's nothing in HTML that'll be pre-baked for you to do that. Just a simple swipe can take you days to program because you have to take into account how far you drag your finger. Uh, I don't know if pressure is involved, you know, how hard you pushed or... These frameworks do all that for you. And as a developer, they save you that time. Of course, you're forced to work within the framework now because as with any framework, that's what it is. It's a framework, so you have to go through the framework. But if it works for your project, then it makes all the sense in the world. It, you know, it will take you much longer, or your developer, much longer to create that functionality or recreate it. The apps are not built in these, these are not platforms. What you're, what you're looking at here are not platforms. These are just pieces of functionality that help you in building the apps. We're gonna get into platforms in a second, which is the containers that allow you to create that cross